This video will show you how to use the menu navigation editor in Confluence or in this example in our Lynchpin internet implementation. Uh, find out more about the navigation menu editor on our website. Um, you can find it by searching for navigation menu editor in Confluence for Google. Or there's a marketplace entry on the Atlassian marketplace with reviews and a download option and so on. However, in this instance, it's already installed. So this is the navigation menu editor. It has normal menus, flyout menus, and it can do personalization. Um, if you are eligible, you can also edit the navigation. You don't have to be an administrator to do that. Even people who are in a special group that we can uh, configure, I'll show you later, um, can edit the navigation. Let's look at the admin area. We go in the general administration area and navigation, navigation editor. Menu editor, I'm sorry. There are three elements. One, help, easy. You get some, some help on how to use it. And there's a lot of um, filtering and uh, configuration going on um, that is documented here. And it's also on our website. We're interested in the settings and the structure part. So, um, the question is, do you want the navigation to be on top or not? Yes, it should be a flyout or a plain navigation. Um, should the menu be shown for anonymous, non-registered users? Yes or no? And then um, this is already for personalization. So do you want to choose profile fields on which basis you want to personalize the appearance of the navigation. So if someone speaks a different language, like one speaks English and the other speaks German, you may want to give them different navigations. One would get an English navigation and the other a German navigation. And this can be done with these personalization elements. Then this is already um, the case that I showed you.